I'm Tuji and I'm representing Norway in the Eurovision Song Contest. I'm 24 years old. Um, I'm born in Shiraz, Iran, but I came here when I was um, one year old. And I'm working in the children's welfare system. That means uh, working with trafficking victims, uh, with troubled teens and youth and, um, and uh, immigrants. Um, it's quite heavy work, but it gives a lot. And especially when it comes to uh, getting a voice so I can actually make changes in my society uh, and I think there's a when I when I work with these uh, children I see a lot of things that needs a voice but uh, and I think I'm a person that can give a voice to them so this is my opportunity to reach out to a lot of people my song stay uh, it's a song about joy and just you know going with the flow um, getting into the rhythm and the music and it's written by Figi Bostrom and Peter Bostrom, together with me, and uh, it's it's a fusion between you know the Eastern rhythms and the dirty synth pop of the West. So it's a it's a cool song. Participating in the Norwegian uh, Eurovision was pretty scary because it was my first time on stage, um, and yeah, in front of 1.3 million people, first time. Some people might think I'm crazy, but you know if you're going to go out, do it with a big bang, and that's what I did. Music uh, has always been a part of me uh, since I was little, but I didn't really dare to uh, dream of being a singer before I was like 18 or 19. That was when I discovered that I had a voice. And after that, I was like, okay, I have a voice and I know how to work it in front of a camera <laughs> and I know how to move. I'm not a dancer, but I know how to move. So, you know, I'm, I'm just meant to be an artist. And um, it was the perfect thing for me. And so I just started my journey working with producers and here I am. I actually discovered my voice, <laughs> funny story, uh, when I was doing, um, I was doing some part-time modeling, of course. <laughs> Everybody does that when they're like 18. And, uh, and it was, uh, I was doing this show and um, the singer that was gonna close the whole show with a big nice uh, song uh, called Sway, not Stay, but Sway. Uh, you know that song, when the rainbow rhythm starts to play, he didn't show up. And the organizer, she was so stressed out and uh, I was just humming for myself backstage, you know, waiting for the show. And she was like, you can sing, you can sing. I was like, no, yeah, oh, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> and so she said, do you want to do the song? And I said, you know, I always think that opportunities comes for, a, they come for a reason. So I said, okay, sure. And I went to the DJ, learned the song and I performed the song. And I got so much applause that, you know, this literally a light came up and uh, I understood that I had a, a voice. Come on, I'll work and move your body, baby. You better. This year's Eurovision is going to be a, a hardcore competition. It's a lot of good contestants and uh, I can't wait to meet him on stage. Uh, I already met uh, Sweden. Nice girl. And... Uh, so it's gonna be it's gonna be hardcore. <laughs> the audience can expect quite a show. It's gonna be um, a fiery show, to put it in a mild way. Uh, the theme is, you know, my roots, Prince of Persia, and uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hell of a show. Just you wait and see. It's a true honor to represent Norway. It's uh, it's beyond my wildest dreams. Uh, I, I'm just so happy and humble and just. Wow, thank you. Uh, my goal is to uh, reach out to millions of people and hopefully come back as number one. I'm going to win this. My top three favorite songs in the Eurovision history is... Uh, okay, the first song that I ever knew about was, uh, was uh, Gina G, uh, representing UK with ooh, ah, just a little bit and her CD, CD gown or dress or mini skirt or whatever that was. Uh, and then I have to say, um, I have a love for, actually two of them are also in our region. It's uh, Maria Harkos Mitot with hold on, hold on, be strong. And then of course, Rybak that won the whole shit. And God knows if, if um, I'm gonna give my all and maybe I'm gonna be the next one. I have no idea. I actually haven't learned to dance anywhere. I don't. I don't uh, see myself as a dancer. Uh, actually, when I was uh, when I was a little child, my cousins always did like belly dance and 
and stuff like that. So I, I, I watched them and then I learned for myself their moves. So maybe that's where my uh, hip moves comes from. <laughs> on my spare time, I of course use it on, you know, close friends and family. Um, and if I get any chance to sleep, I'll definitely take that <laughs> chance. Um, but yeah, I use my time, I use my spare time on my loved ones. I would love to give a shout out to my fans across Europe and just say thank you so, so much uh, for all your support. Um, I read each and every one of your tweets and your messages on Facebook and it really gives me so much courage. And uh, I just, when I'm standing on that stage, it's for you. Thank you.